Week 5 in the NFL yielded three overtime games and an array of unexpected developments. Preseason playoff hopefuls such as the Baltimore Ravens and Kansas City Chiefs find themselves with a combined 2-8 record. The Seattle Seahawks and Dallas Cowboys, two teams expecting to play deep into January, have losing records. Six teams, New England Patriots, Green Bay Packers, Cincinnati Bengals, Denver Broncos, Carolina Panthers and Atlanta Falcons, are all unbeaten in the league defined by parity. As usual, Sunday produced typical knee-jerk reactions and overreactions. Here's five and why they are off base. 1. Don't believe in indeed Dalton until he proves it in the playoffs. Yes, Dalton needs to improve his 0-4 to playoff record, and fast. But he's not the only quarterback dealing with playoff struggles. Let's give him credit for an outstanding start to his fifth NFL season. This isn't a game manager at quarterback. If his success continues, he's a dark horse MVP candidate. Dalton has 11 touchdown passes and just two interceptions. He's on pace to throw for more than 4,500 yards. He is accurate. He makes prudent decisions. And he remains upright. Dalton has a strong offensive line and an arsenal of skill position players as good as almost any team in the league. Tight end Tyler Eifort, who had two touchdowns in the comeback victory over Seattle, has been a major contributor. 2. The Broncos will win big in spite of Peyton Manning. Let's not get carried away with ragging on Manning. Yes, the Broncos remain unbeaten because of their defense. Yes, the velocity on many of Manning's passes leaves a lot to be desired. And yes, it's striking to see that he has more interceptions 7 than touchdowns 6. The Broncos should be formidable enough to emerge as AFC West champs. But if they are going to be a legitimate threat in the playoffs, Manning will need to play a more productive role, even at 39. He is going to.